Rice and Chia on YouTube, my name is Chale and whenever a new open world game that interests me comes out, one of the biggest questions that I have besides what the story and gameplay mechanics will be, it is the size of the map. Hey, now's the perfect time to push the button. Oh, hit the bell icon. So just like Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, Death Stranding is going to be an open world game where us the players will have the chance to travel and explore a wide array of different locations and areas with changing scenery or with great amount of freedom either by walking or riding this extremely futuristic three wheel bike. At least these are so far the two known ways. Now. Although the official scale of the map is yet to be revealed, Hideo Kojima himself gave us food for thought after a post on his official Twitter account containing two pictures from the latest trailer where he specifically said, in the new Death Stranding trailer, there's a scene Sam sets up the rope, the snow mountain is not the set, the path exists and you can actually go climb up the mountain. The snow mountain appears in the beginning of the trailer is exactly what it is. For those that didn't get it, this scene here, where we see Sam making his way up that snowy mountain, in reality what we're looking at is the same mountain fully explorable that we have on this scene where Sam is preparing the rope. This is extremely impressive stuff. Obviously, just from this, we can't calculate exactly the distance from location 1 to location 2, but with the naked eye, it looks tremendously far. Essentially based on what Kojima said, and if I simplify everything in general terms, if we can see it, then we can climb slash explore it, whether that's a mountain, crater, river, etc. Now, in regards to how much freedom we will have, I said at the beginning with great freedom, but for the time being, since we haven't seen too much about it yet, I am taking it with a grain of salt, since I think some limitations as to where we can go will do exist. Not like Assassin's Creed map limitations with the white barriers though, but something more discreet. Again, I say this just cause we don't have more info regarding the matter and I might be completely wrong, but whatever the case, deep down I have a lot of faith in Master Kojima cause he has proven himself taking the right decisions numerous times in the past. Lastly, let's talk some numbers. So judging from the fact that Kojima collaborated with Guerrilla Games and we know that Death Stranding will be using the amazing and very powerful Decima engine, Horizon Zero Dawn had a map size of 22 squared kilometers. This is me taking a wild guess, but for Death Stranding, I'm expecting at least double the size, somewhere around 40 km squared, similar to the map of Fallout 76. Of course, it will all come down to how much more Decima engine has improved from the Horizon days, but hey, we have 2019 and it's Kojima that we're talking about, so anything is possible. There you have it guys, let me know down in the comment section your thoughts about the size of the map with the hashtag stranding sized at the end and let's have a discussion. Also don't forget to drop a like and consider pushing the red button for more death stranding and other awesome content. So really hope that everyone's gonna have an amazing day or night, whatever you're going to do and I'll see you all in the next video, bye bye!